Hey guys, I am really excited to share with you another recipe for your Instant Pot. Um, this morning I am sharing how to make dulce de leche in your Instant Pot. And I know that um, there have already been a lot of recipes shared with how to make dulce de leche in your Instant Pot um, that use a can of sweetened condensed milk. But I uh, rarely ever have sweetened condensed milk on hand, and when, uh, when possible, I like to try to be able to make things with ingredients that I already have on hand. So um, that helps to keep my grocery list really simple and basic. And so today, I'm going to show you how to make dulce de leche with just milk, sugar, and a um, very little bit of baking soda and vanilla. So really easy. Chances are you already have milk and sugar in your kitchen. Um, and as long as you have an Instant Pot, then you can make some dulce de leche in an hour and a half. Super simple. Um, and after I show you how to get it started, I'll show you some things that you can do with it too. So, um, with your Instant Pot, you're going to plug it in, first of all. Um, you're going to pour in four cups of milk, and I've already got it ready. I always have whole milk and I think if you used um, whole milk it would make a much richer dulce de leche anyway. Um, so just pour in your milk. You don't need to do any other prep other than that um, to your instant pot. So pour in your milk, pour in a cup of sugar, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And you're just gonna stir those up. And of course your sugar, your sugar um, won't dissolve until your milk starts to heat up. So uh, as your milk gets warmer, your sugar will dissolve. So um, in the first little bit, you need to be stirring your milk every um, 10 or so minutes to help that sugar dissolve. So I'm just gonna give it a quick stir right here to mix it up a little bit. And you're going to cook your milk um, and make the dulce de leche using the saute feature. But you want to be sure, this is really important, you have to be sure that you turn your saute feature to less and not normal. If you keep it on normal, I know this from experience, just ask my husband, your milk will boil over and it'll make a big mess. Um, so... I'm going to hit saute and then hit the adjust button until it lights up on less. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to cook it for an hour and a half. And during that time, your sugar will dissolve into your milk, making that sweet milk. And your milk uh, mixture will reduce. And um, your Instant Pot is set so that it will not stay on saute more than 30 minutes at a time. It's a safety feature that Instant Pot designed um, in, their, um, in their Instant Pots um, so that after 30 minutes it will cut off. So you need to make sure, you don't have to ba babysit this, which is what I love. You don't have to uh, make sure that it's you know, not going to make a mess or that it's staying at a right temperature. But every 30 minutes or so, you, you need to make sure that you turn the saute feature back on. And it's going to cook for an hour and a half, so that's three saute settings. Um, so after 30 minutes, turn it back on, make sure that it's still on less. It shouldn't change in let, until you change it. Um, and then every 15 or so minutes, just give it a stir to make sure that it's not sticking to the bottom of your pot. And then you will have dulce de leche. And that is super, super easy. Um, and by the way, if you don't know what dulce de leche is, it's like a caramel, a sweet caramel sauce. It means um, sweet milk. I actually spent a year in Argentina and we ate a ton of dulce de leche. We would have it with every meal. Um, we would have it on our bananas for breakfast and on um, bread and everything else. And so it's a, it's a really nice treat. And especially around the holidays, it makes a great gift as well. So as long as you have milk and sugar, baking soda, the vanilla is optional, but it helps to give it um, a little bit more um, of a sweet flavor. So you, you can make dulce de leche today in an hour and a half. Um, I've just got some jarred for you. It makes a great gift. You could put it in a little mason jar, put a ribbon on it, um, make a nice little label with scrapbook paper, give it with some cookies or a loaf of fresh bread. I also
also, and I'll share the link to, um, to this recipe, but this is just a super simple three ingredient butter cookie recipe. Um, so here's the cookie. This is just a plain. It's uh, made with butter, flour, and um, sugar. And so that's it. Just three ingredients. It comes together really easily and um, you can make it into a variety of things. You can make it with, um, put your put a thumbprint in it before it bakes and actually you can even, you make your th thumbprint deeper after it finishes baking. Um, Put some dulce de leche in there, sprinkle it with powdered sugar, and it makes a really nice, pretty cookie. I've also um, done it before where you make a sandwich cookie. So two butter cookies, dulce de leche in the middle, and powdered sugar. And then, of course, you could just give plain butter cookies and let them um, dip or spread. Any of those would make a really great addition to um, a holiday party or a great sweet treat to give as a gift. And I'll show you also, this um, cookbook is one of my favorites for um, Christmas cookies. And so the recipe for the sandwiches actually was adapted from this recipe. It's for um, salted dulce de leche um, sandwich cookies. So it's just a easier, um, easier cookie, the butter cookies, and then just put some... Um, Dulce de leche in between, give it a little sprinkle of salt, and you've got a really delicious cookie. Um, so that's it. If you have any questions, um, as always, let me know. But that is a super, super simple way to make dulce de leche in your Instant Pot. Um, let me think. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. So every 30 minutes, make sure you turn your Instant Pot back on. Um, in an hour and a half, it'll be done. After that, I'll show you, I haven't showed you the final product yet. So this is some dulce de leche that I made yesterday. This is about the thickness after an hour and a half. So it will, um, it will look maybe thinner um, than you might expect after an hour and a half, but it thickens as it cools. So um, you can go ahead and transfer it to your jars and it will thicken up as it gets cooler and be a more spreadable consistency. Um, and you can see the color of this. If you want um, a thicker dulce de leche or if you want one to be a little bit darker, this is one that I let go past an hour and a half. Um, and so I'm not sure, let's see if we can do a comparison. If you can see, the color. This one is a little bit darker, so you can let it um, let it simmer just maybe 15 or 20 minutes longer if you want a, doc a darker darker dulce de leche. So um, anyway, I have a recipe, the recipe typed up um, on my blog so that you can um, save it and view it in just um, text form. So I will link to that and. Um, there are other, many other Instant Pot recipes on my blog, thispilgrimlife.com, and make sure that you are following along on This Pilgrim Life's Facebook page so that you can see um, more Instant Pot videos and make sure you know when new recipes are published. And I hope this will be my, probably my last video before Christmas, so I hope you, that you have a very Merry Christmas and a wonderful holiday, and I will catch you after Christmas next week. Goodbye. Mommy.